This car is everything that you could have asked for at this price point. If you are in the market for a Camaro SS, I would definitely suggest getting the 2SS package. Let's get it. Uh huh. Drop. Uh huh. Top. Uh huh. Drop. Uh huh. Top. What you doing? Drop the top. Drop the top. Drop. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy James Atkins TV back with another back with another episode. I'm sorry. I can't talk. I'm so excited again. I'm back here at Bellevue Chevrolet. Um, and I'm getting some clips today of the vehicle. Um, I wanted to give you guys a full walkthrough, a full walk around of the C8 Corvette. It's still wrapped up because like I said, I'm getting the ship. But I um, talked to the guys on the inside and I wanted to get all three of the C8s next to each other side by side and as you can tell you clicked on the title of this video today so i want to give you a walk around of the 2ss and i wanted to give like my overall opinion about the vehicle since i had it for two years and some change two and a half maybe three years now so yeah i'm about to give you guys that information and good content i'm going to talk about the things that i do like the things that i don't like about the uh 2ss convertible and just give you guys a true honest opinion from my perspective um i got two of my good friends here today too so i think i think jordan's gonna take over the camera for me but um here's the ca corvette once again this is the interior of the vehicle give you a better shot since it was dark yesterday i will tell you guys from experience that this red pops a lot harder than it does on camera um a lot of a lot of people already asked me from my social media why I didn't go with the two-tone option. I kind of just wanted the all all red. Um, I have a lot of stuff in mind as far as wraps and the in the and the concept that I'm going for. So everything's gonna stay wrapped up as is and get shipped on out. Um, I don't even know if you can see. Let's see if you can see the engine in the back. Yeah. So I didn't get the I did not get the uh, uh, the engine appearance package. Because I wanted to plan on, I'm planning on doing stuff with, with the appearance myself. So uh, I opted to not go with that. As you guys can see, once again, I might go on the inside and get the keys for the uh, blue one again, just so y'all can see how this bad boy look on the inside. But it's locked up right now. Once again, I'm gonna show y'all all of the content that I had prepared for the Camaro. So. I'm gonna get and I'm gonna talk about the Camaro in a second, but wanting to get all three of the cars next to each other lined up. And once again, if you have if you have any interest in getting a CA Corvette, come out here and talk to my guys at Chevy uh, Chevy Bellevue Chevrolet of Bellevue. Ask for Peter; he's gonna get you sure squared away completely. the The build that they have for these for these cars is crazy. It's absolute crazy. They are able to spec these vehicles out really really nicely really really nicely they're going to have the tail lights tinted they're going to do some more with the exterior the cars are already clear broad there's just a lot of stuff that they have that they're, that they're going to add to the vehicle as well so i understand that it's coming all right i'm back i had to talk some numbers with these guys real quick they had to tell me about what my trade-in was going to actually do they didn't know that I I still had I still owed a little bit on this uh, on the on the SS so they got to get that situated. Jalen, talk to the people, man. Man, I'm proud of my man here. I, hey man, I appreciate hey, it, bro. Inspiration, boy. This boy is always moving mountains. So I appreciate you know? it, man. Tell the people your Instagram. Yeah, you got you want to, you do you want to share your Instagram, your socials? Yeah, Jalen dot Holmes one. You know, not, <laughs> ain't nothing special. It's just light. Uh, just just a little ca casual publicity guy. Just a little casual publicity guy. This this is the guy right here. What's your, what's your socials, okay. my guy? You know, J O J A E O W E. Follow the kid. <laughs> follow the kid. You think about getting you one, my boy? Yeah, yeah I think I'm next up, bro. He's next you know, up. I don't, I don't really drive right now, so it's been tough. I've been on the market for a minute, but I think I think it's time. All right, so look, I'm just gonna share because look, I don't think he cares that much. James. At the time, what's going on? T will come out and explain whatever that technical. T. Respect. All right, cool. Appreciate it. Uh, so essentially, me and Jordan was in the market for buying cars at the same time. 
I told him I was getting a C8. He knew how serious I was about it. And he said he was gonna get the F-Type Jag. And I've been telling this man to go ahead and cop the Jag. Get the F-Type. We was gonna cruise the city. We had a whole vision for how we was gonna operate out here. <laughs> but this man procrastinated. Now he say he about to get a C8 now. Look, look, we're talking about accountability oh, now. Right, right. right. <laughs> Have to drive anywhere. Drive, bro. Yeah, given this COVID, COVID uh, 19 pandemic, I get it. Like, everybody's sitting in the house. Nobody's really driving nowhere. So, I mean, for him, I guess it, it, it's a it's a definitely a, a smart investment for him to, you know what I'm saying, wait. But anyway, let me get to the meat and potatoes of what I really wanted to cover. Um, So, I kind of wanted to go over a few things about the car. Let me just start off by saying that I absolutely love the vehicle like this car was great it was reliable never had any issues with it whatsoever um and this car is just it's just it's just it's gonna forever hold a special place in my heart because it was like my real first only sports car and i had you know what i'm saying i, I achieved i achieved my dreams of having a, a you know what i'm saying a convertible sports car and i was able to go fast and all that goodness um but when I think about the things that I did not like about the car, and this is gonna be me being very picky, like so, like for those of you guys that are gonna be watching and be keyboard warriors, take your time, leave a comment, like, you know what I'm saying, do whatever you gotta do. Um, but this is not being like, like don't take it to heart, like don't be super serious about what I'm about to say. However, these are the few things that I did not care for that much about the 2SS convertible. Um, so, first thing. The amount of brake dust that comes from these brakes, these Brembo, these Brembo brakes, it's ridiculous. Uh, like I found myself a lot just coming out here, just cleaning this, you know, brake dust up. And as you can clearly see, like there's a, there's a, there's a lot of brake dust in there already. So like, brake dust is crazy. So if you if you out here in Washington, especially where it rains a lot, or you're in a place where it's it's it's, it's very rainy. You're gonna find yourself cleaning your car a lot and putting a lot of time and effort into it. Um, on the inside of the car, uh, matter of fact, I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna do both of the things that I like the most and the things that I also kind of disliked about the car. All right, great, got that out the way. On the inside of the car, um, on the inside of the car, I felt like Chevy could have did a better job of designing a cooler centerpiece for the steering wheel um it just looked it just looked like it was missing something um i love the stitching around i love the detail that they did i love how the aggressive look on the ins excuse me how the aggressive look was on the on the inside of the vehicle but like this this, this entire this entire front i feel like they could have put a little bit more effort into it um a full digital display would have also been cool in my opinion um but that's that's kind of it for for the dash oh yeah and the infotainment center i'm gonna talk about this with the c8 as well but all this unused space they could have just made this an entire screen like they could have utilized all this entire real estate here um a lot of people complain about the little compartment space that is inside the armrest um, I personally think that that's that, like that's something that you should not even be complaining about in a sports car because you shouldn't have a whole lot of things inside of your sports car. Um, but the the biggest gripe that I have with the Camaro is the back seats. My back seat is literally used for only holding items. Um, I've gotten people in the car the back seat before, but is not very comfortable and i am 6'4 so if anybody is tall trying to sit behind me if anybody period is trying to sit behind me i'm literally on the steering wheel uh then again you, when you think about a, a two-door coupe sports car you're not trying to get it for a family vehicle you're not trying to get it to have a lot of people in the vehicle with you so i get it like it shouldn't hold a whole uh grown two grown men behind you so um, another thing that I do like about the vehicle, really, really love, is the Bose sound system. This stock system knocks, okay? Stock, these stock Bose speakers are really good. 
and I have the two SS, so I think I got 14 speakers around the car or 12 speakers around the car. I'm not sure. I'm trying. I'm getting a, a little bit confused with the C8 specs. Another thing that I do not care for, for real, um, this portion up here when you're when you're moving when you're removing the the top. I'm so glad that they did it for the C8 Corvettes um, for the convertibles. The button should always be down here, somewhere, the door, whatever. I shouldn't have to raise my arm and hold this button because like it looks cool when you first do it, but if I have to raise my hand and touch a button, I feel like that should, I can't get, the, uh, there we go. If I have to raise, if I have to raise my hand and touch it and hold this button, like I should be able to hold it and be done or either just press it and be done. Um, it's only a couple other things I want to point out. The next thing that I need to tell you guys about is the door. Okay, what about the door? I've heard this a thousand and one times, but I didn't really notice it until I actually became an owner of the Camaro. Um, the doors are super long, folks. Like, I'm 6'4", and my foot doesn't even reach to the edge, and I'm sitting in the car. So, the doors are so long that like you have to make sure you're not opening it and hitting someone else and because of the length it's like and i'm tall so when i'm getting out i have to like kind of like snake my way out of the door a lot of people complain about the visibility i don't think the visibility is that much of an issue if you sit low then obviously you will have some visibility issues i also feel like gm could have put like some type of camaro badging right here or ss badging right here this kind of looks blank but outside of that this car is absolutely amazing this car is everything that you could have asked for at this price point if you are in the market for a camaro ss i would definitely suggest getting the 2ss package because i love the fact that you get the strips of the lights and stuff going around the car it would be cool if gm would have made it so that the lights actually change colors while you're driving because when you're driving it only stays one stagnant color and for me because the entire inside was red i kept mine red almost 90 percent of the time other than that i think i've called out every single thing that i kind of liked or did not like about the 2ss overall if i had to give it a one out of ten rating i will give this car a solid i will give this car a solid 8.5 to a 8.9 somewhere in that range um if not if not a solid nine itself and the reason why i give it an eight and a half to a nine simply because at the price point that you get the car at and everything that you pay for i feel like and everybody say this about chevy gm ford mustang like they obviously cut corners just a little bit here and there and the cut of the corners is is it what is what matters a lot when it comes down to looking at the the details a lot of times people try to nitpick and find things wrong with the car and quite honestly like there's nothing wrong with this vehicle at all for what you get what you're paying for and this is a very very solid great car if you just want to go fast you're definitely going to go fast like you're, you're getting a solid vehicle if you purchase a, a camaro 2ss um yeah but anyway if you've made it this far like i always say man i really i, I thank you all for tuning in per usual please like Hit that like button right now, okay? Drop a comment on the video, okay? Subscribe for sure. Definitely subscribe because that helps me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm building out this channel. I'm bringing you guys solid content. It's going to be up and it's going to stay stuck from here. Anyway, it's a lot of great content coming. So, yeah, like, hit that like button, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button. It's up. Anyway, until next time, thank you guys.